Greetings. Welcome to EDTV News Channel, the People's Channel. In this report, we have some shootings and some dropouts for talk about. Coming out of the parish of St. James, St. Andrew, and Kingston. Stay tuned for the full reports. Blessings to all subscribers and viewers. If you're here for the first time, you can support the channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. So we'll start off in the parish of St. James, where a woman was shot and taken out near a food establishment. Cops now searching for her ex-boyfriend, Stephen. So we are getting into the latest police report. Detectives from the St. James Division are currently investigating a shooting incident that resulted in the dropout of a woman and the injury of a man last night. The incident took place shortly before 9 p.m. on Kent Avenue in the vicinity of a popular food establishment. The victim has been identified as Denisha Samuels, also known as Anna, a 20-year-old woman from Warica Hill in Narwood, St. James. Investigators have identified a person of interest in connection with this homicide. He has been identified by his alias, Stephen. Stephen is from Rosais in the parish and is believed to be the ex-boyfriend of the now deceased. The police are asking Stephen to present himself to the police in St. James by midday, Tuesday, February 13. Reports said that Samuels was overheard having a heated argument with her ex-boyfriend. He reportedly left the location and returned in a white Toyota Axiom motor car and opened gunfire at Samuels. Early responding officers from the Barnett Street Police Station discovered Samuels with a gunshot wound to her upper body and head Era. She was immediately transported to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where she was pronounced, you know what, on arrival. Detectives are appealing to anyone with information regarding this incident to come forward to assist with the ongoing investigation. Now, people, we are moved to Kingston where one man is now dropped out, another injured, as gunshot rang out in downtown Kingston. Detectives assigned to the Denham Town Criminal Investigation Branch, CIB, are seeking the public assistance in identifying the body of a man who was taken out at the intersection of Princess and Beeson Street in downtown Kingston. The body is of dark complexion, slim built, about 5 feet 11 inches tall, and has a dreadlocks ear style. It was clad in blue jeans, camouflage shirt, and a navy blue pullover long sleeve shirt, gray shoes, and red tam. Reports said that about 8.50 p.m., a police team was on patrol in the era. When explosions were heard, the team responded. The man was seen lying on the sidewalk with multiple gunshot wounds. He was assisted to hospital where he was pronounced you know what. Another man later turned up at the hospital and reported that he was shot and injured in the same era. He is being treated at hospital. Now, people, we are moving on. We are a Berylium security guard is now dropped out. So we'll get into the report. Accidental fatal shooting of a Berylium security guard in Kingston. A Berylium security guard was today fatally shot at one of the gates to the company's office and South Camp Road in Kingston. The guard was accidentally shot and reportedly by another security guard at the Blake Lane gate. Head of the Kingston Central Police, Superintendent Beresford Williams, confirmed that it was an accidental shooting. Investigators are now at the scene of the shooting. Now, people, we'll move on. This time to the parish of St. Andrew, 
where a man was shot during an attack at Oakland apartment cop looking for shooter. Police have launched a search for an armed thug who shot and injured a man at the Oakland apartment in St. Andrew today. Police sources reported that sometimes after 10 a.m., the criminal went to the premises and minutes after entering, gunshots were heard. The shooter was later seen leaving the area. The police were alerted and during a search of the premises, a man of Asian descent was seen suffering from gunshot wounds. He was taken to the hospital. The status of the victim condition is still not known. Detectives investigating the matter said they are probing several angles. One of them was that the attack may have been a robbery attempt. Now, people, last but not least, police seeking CJ in connection with the seizure of 14 firearms at Freeport Warehouse in St. James. Police are seeking a man in connection with the seizure of 14 firearms at the Freeport Warehouse in Montego Bay, St. James on Friday. He is known only as CJ, fugitive or shipping. The police said a major operation carried out alongside the Jamaica Custom Agency led to the catch of firearms being intercepted in what being described as a significant blow to the transnational movement of illegal weapons from North America to the Caribbean. In a release, the JCF Corporate Communication Unit explained that utilizing advanced non-intrusive inspection technology, custom officers detected anomalies within the shipment from Florida in the United States during a routine scanning procedures. The suspicious consignment, a blue plastic barrel, addressed to a recipient in Bogueville Village in Montego Bay prompted a thorough examination by the contraband enforcement team. Further reports are that about 10 a.m., officers uncovered a total of 14 firearms and 15 magazines hidden among household items. The man only known as CJ, fugitive or shippy, has been identified as a person of interest in the investigation. Authorities are asking him to report to the nearest police station by midday on Wednesday, February 14. Meanwhile, members of the public are being urged to share any information they believe may be helpful in advancing this and other investigation. Job well done done by the police so there are avid people please leave your comments in the comment section and tell me what to think one aim one god one destiny walk good talk good live good blessings